China and she is in the studio spokesperson of the BJP Ranjana Kumari director center for social research and activist Sudha Ramalingam uh, she is at the Madras High Court and uh, my first question is to Ami Agnik uh, Congress spokesperson Nam is Ami Agnik this Shweta Menon does not say that the incident did not happen right she does not say therefore point number 1 Therefore, she does not say the incident did not happen. She does not say she was not groped. She does not say she was not degraded. In fact, she says that as a woman, she was degraded, that she was let down. She was physically touched by a member of parliament. Your party spokesman in Delhi says the woman is wrong because the man is over 70 years old. I don't want to take names, but there have been many cases of several other much older people who have been accused of doing unmentionable things. So why? Aunt, what is the message you are sending, Ms. Yavnik, by letting this member of parliament get away? Ami Yavnik? Yes, I'm waiting. Yes, Arna. Yes, I heard you and I also seen uh, what uh, the lady has said and what has gone into the withdrawal of the case and what the member of parliament had to say. It is really very, very sad and it is definitely very painful for a woman to go and register a case of molesting or any harassment at a public function. So I am really uh, pained to see that women still have these uh, uh, um, harassment incidents going on. Of course, she has withdrawn the case the legal case which is under section 354 of the IFPC but she has said that she was she consulted her husband her father her guruji that is what the news what, say and uh, she has withdrawn the case I, that is one part I, of it the ahead. second part of it that what because are we it's talking a public about function, is there something it's called public propriety function. in public life one minute when you're a yes, member yes, of parliament can you, can you just get away scot free by can just saying i'm let sorry me finish? yes Yes, I, I, I am on coming to that. I am really saying that this has to be taken note of. We are here for women's empowerment, women's dignity. We have laws in place, but unfortunately... No, no, but your, 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 party, your party in Delhi... Party no, no, your party in Delhi... Your party in <coughs> Delhi has said that the that. woman... She, they, have, they have said the woman has it all wrong. The woman doesn't know he's a 70 plus man. So and they have said the fault is that of a woman it? and what does age have One to do minute. with it? What does age have to do with it's it? A, it's a Parent, ridiculous Parent argument to say the, the man the, is over 70 years old, so the no, woman the must case, be wrong. The case. Then let it be said tomorrow that all, all the, men over the, 70, the, you the, know, touch the a man, woman is. What, what argument no, no, is that? No, no. Ami, that, Ami, that, that cannot be the case. That cannot be an no, argument. Did the incident that happen? Watch it. Did the incident happen? Line. Did the, the incident happen? The person has gone with photographs of the function. He has gone to the investigating agency. He has personally apologized. Apology means happened. nothing. What apology right has he given? As far as he counter. Said, one minute. One minute. We are getting, getting a first counter. 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 Please. Counter from China and Sikh. Just please get your facts correct. correct. The member of parliament yes, yes, says that it. I was the organizer of the function and therefore I am sorry that, you know, she felt very hurt. What nonsense is he talking? You have something called propriety in public life. He is a member of parliament. He is 73 years old. Definitely. There, are, there is Definitely ample footage to show how he I has fallen her, how he has held her. The, the actress, see into the this. actress goes to register a complaint a and the collector here. himself says, either you speak or I speak. I think you've had a chance. So you okay, Ami Agnik, here the counter response. Let me say this. Let me say this. One minute. You are not able to do it. One minute. What are you not uh, able to do? What, Take what, action when you have footage. Uh, Take action we, when we you know. The we one collectively minute. are not able to protect. We are collectively are not able to do it. No, collectively. Collectively means what? Selectively or collectively? No, one second. This is, is, is it true or not that Congress Party activists? Is it true or not? Is it true or not? Let me complete now, please. Excuse me. Is it true or not that Congress Party activists burned the actress's effigy in Kollam? So, Congress party activists will burn the effigy of the actress because she goes and complains, complains. that a Congress member of yes. parliament was groping me. Is it true or not that these party activists walked through the main road in Kolam and warned they would continue their protests against her? 
Is it true or not that the district uh, no. Congress president one I minute have, tried I to have, cast I tried have, to cast aspersions on her on her, her, on her and said happen. he is an old man? Here, a woman's dignity is at stake. If the woman's she dignity is at stake, what what, what action do you take against the man who put her dignity at stake? Should not happen. But why politicize this issue? You must. You. It's not politicizing. Even the collector did not even listen to her complaint. On property basis. Today, today, what action is your party? Central leadership taken on this case. We have taken note of it. We will definitely look into it. No, when, how, when taken. you will sack him? Note you will sack the MP. Will you sack him? Will you tell him to leave Parliament? So you cannot behave like that. Be a parliamentarian and behave like that. And just because the woman withdraws the case, it cannot be the end of the case. No, I've got Ranjana not. Kumari here. The visuals are on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, of what happened. I won't be judgmental about this. I'll let the pictures speak. No, Look at these pictures today withdraw, and ask yourself, is this the way, the is this the manner, is this the manner in which you expect a public representative to behave with anyone, you know, a woman who is there to do a professional job? Is this the way you nudge her, you push her, you physically touch her? And then your to party the people come and intimidate her to the point where she has she to. Has no, I, no, I think the person I've indulged into this activity, he will have to. He will have to face when, the charges. When, he will when, have to go when, on the case. When? When? The case has. Well, it is going on. The investigating agency has all the clippings. The investigation all the proof, is right let here. Let it go on. Oh, really? So if, if, if a parliamentarian behaves. Ranjana like Kumari, that, please, it please. Has to be taken no, no, no. Please, it has please to go understand on. this. You the see. Case has to go on. No, you have to understand. When the when the complainant, when in this case, complainant under pressure or otherwise takes back the case, then it's not a question of legality anymore. Legally, the case becomes weak. But just because maybe the maybe this person was yeah. told to withdraw the case, whatever in her best interest or otherwise, does not mean the case is over. Now, now let me tell you this, Ami Agnik. I I, I think you understand the law. We cannot go into that, but the case. We have to go, go into on. that. The case has to go on. These kind of incidents. Uh, Ranjana be Kumari. Of Ranjana Kumari. Yes. Ranjana, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no politician in this country, no politician from no party, has the right to behave like that. Any politician behaves like that, he should be thrown Arnav, out. He certainly cannot be a lawmaker. Yes, please. Ranjana Kumari. Arnav, I think it's the most shameful thing that has happened for four reasons action must be taken. First of all, he has committed a crime. And this cannot be just, you know, otherwise people can commit the crime and they can just apologize. It's a typical example of a woman who is of some position, some power, power, but still she had to buckle in to the pressure, perhaps by the family, by the fraternity, by the political class, to really say, okay, fine, I pardon you. But that does not mean that he has not committed a crime. And secondly, you see, this is the reason political party, this is the time for Congress to clean the filth in the party. You know, why so many, so few women join political parties and the membership of political parties remain only 3 to 4 percent as far as women are concerned and similar is the case of Congress party because this is how the people in public places and politicians and behave with women. With you know, this kind of a violating dignity of a woman and then just saying, I'm sorry, age has nothing to do with that because we know that we cannot argue for somebody being very old or very young who has done it. This violation of dignity of a woman and she has been under the pressure to pardon him, that does not mean that he has not committed a crime, especially a member of a political party which, whose leader is a woman, who is led by a woman. This kind of a political party, if she if I leave is it to not the wisdom. punished, if he, is not, if he has not been thrown out of the party, he is not asked to resign from his membership, I think it is shame. Today, this is very, very shameful. Repeatedly, such in incidents happen and people sitting in position of power uh, say, also send a message that they can get away with that, so they continue no, doing it. They more. do not respect. I can tell you thousands of examples, not one, two, ten, hundred, where women in political parties can come forward if they have the courage to tell you that how they are treated by their political colleague, by the leadership, and by the other no, people I want, who can influence. No, 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 one second. Her, her, her statement. Their own situation no, no, in, depends. You know, in this case, simple question here is, let's get Sudhar Amalingam in the open it up. The fact is she has not denied the incident took place and her statement was recorded by a police on a complaint yes. of the DYFI which is the youth wing of the CPIM. So she's not the complainant. The police is duty bound. Yes, of course, if you, if you, you know, put her in a situation where she has to take back the case, she's never going to admit it. 
But if she has to take back the case, then the case becomes weak. Mm. And therefore, today, the question is more of propriety than of legality. So that, yes. Ms. Ramalingam, your response to the Congress spokesperson. I, I would like to first bring to your attention, uh, Arnab, about uh, the case in 2006 when a TV uh, newsreader preferred a complaint to the New York Kingfisher Airlines uh, about being harassed by P.J. Joseph of Kerala, uh, Kerala, then Kerala minister. What happened? The CM himself took up the issue after a complaint was also the, brought to his notice. And then an IG of police came to Chennai and recorded her statement. She actually did not succumbed to any of the pressures, pressure went on to, to see that the case is taken up by the court itself, but from 3 8 2006 she had to fight the case, on 11 5 2009 he was acquitted, you know why? The matter itself was posted to be before another uh, judge and then a lot of manipulations had happened, despite there being predominant evidence to show that the, Kerala, the then Kerala Minister P.J. Joseph had committed the offence, but still he he was acquitted. But having said this, even if a person is being acquitted of charges, the party can take so much action. These are the offences involving moral turpitude. Offences involving moral turpitude, as far as a government servant is concerned, could be taken cognizance of by the government itself, by the state, by the department, and he be punished for dis and by disciplinary action being taken against him. So even if this woman has withdrawn her complaint, what happens is the, part the Congress party can take necessary action against the erring MP. Exactly. So it's a qu that's that's the point. But yes. problem is today, Ami Agnik is hiding behind the argument that let the law, you know, let the law. What do you want, Ami Agnik? Can I ask you something? You want the no, law to? I, I, no, no. One sec, Ami Agnik. Uh, let me complete, please. I have a right to ask my question. I today you want to take away my right to have an opinion poll, but I hope till at least today you are not taking away my right to ask questions. And in fact, we'll have the opinion poll regardless of whether you like it or not. The question is simply this: that. In this case, in, in, in any case, you know, you cannot say that a compromise between an accused, right, and a possible victim is never a ground, is it? it's not a ground for shutting up the case. And, and the fact is the Supreme Court has actually held, Ami Agni, that compromise in cases of rape are out of the question. So I say in a case of molestation also, or any crime against women for that matter, yeah. any crime against women, you can't say, oh, compromise ho gaya. Or whatever, the woman has pulled back the complaint and hence, you know, can we please and get on with it? It's not an argument here, Ami Agnik. No. So why, when will you take action yes. against whenever this MP and there how? Is a, whenever there is a woman who complains, there cannot be compromises. She oh, for God's sake, justice. no, but, no, for See, God's we sake. Are talking, I am yes. asking about the law. The yes, law is no, not I'm a, the law, a the law is not so a contract, the, the law is not a contract between the victim and an accused. The law is not a contract between the victim and the accused. The law stands taller than anything else. The law has to be applied regardless of whether or not the victim in the case has the capacity, the will or the resources to fight the case themselves. I thought you would be on the side of the application of the law, Ami Agnik. But you seem to have put yourself on the side. I am. No, you are I not. I am not very in this much case. on the side of the law. I am saying that she should get justice even if she has withdrawn the case, the case will go on. She has withdrawn case her Case will her go on? What action? What do you mean case will go on? Will go on? For how long? For yes. how long? Well, how is and your patience greater than course, mine? Of course, there are... One minute. When, I just when, want to when make the two, three points. When the investigating agency has got so much proof, so many photographs, what let proof? the case go on. What, what so go on? Ev no. Every woman no. has to get justice. To her the dignity okay. has to be restored. You are getting a count. don't say... Sh 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 Shina. I just want to not on the side of the law. China. Okay, now I just want to state two, three facts. The chief minister has been absolutely silent. Shweta, when she went to register the case, she said in her complaint itself that the district collector of Kolam did not even cooperate. He, in fact, reverted to say that I have got no complaint, not orally, not written. He didn't comply. When she finally gave this statement, she f said that how there is photographic evidence to prove how he molested her. Despite that, there's been no reaction at all. The Min, the member of parliament has the audacity to say that I apologize because I was the organizer of the event. Oh, yeah. And that's why there's no it sincerity saddens in that. me that she was hurt. 
Now, clearly, there are things which are called propriety in public life and there is a legal cost which will go on. But surely if the Congress party and if the Congress president who herself happens to be a woman chooses to take a high moral ground vis-a-vis -vis propriety in public life, it can happen. Legality is another aspect. Ah. There is evidence there. That's if right. you're going to bring this kind of an argument which is let law so, take its so course, tell me then let everything go on the way it's going on. So, let hundreds of MPs touch hundreds of women and let all women who get molested, molested get this kind of treatment. So tell me tonight, Ami Agnek, on the May 15th, Sonia Gandhi says, it pains me that we have failed to counter it. Violence in society and create a safe environment in which girls and women can flourish without being constantly forced to live in fear of abuse and molestation. Tell me today whether in the context of what Sonia Gandhi said, this member of parliament can be allowed to continue. Also tell me, on August 2013, Sonia Gandhi says, we realize that just making laws and announcing policies would not be enough to empower women. Along with it, policies and laws will have to be properly implemented on the ground. Tell me today, as you see these pictures, Ami Agne, can you hold your heart and say this today? That as you see the pictures of what Shweta Menon has gone through and the defined denials of the Member of Parliament and the fact that your party is not taking any action, tell me, do you feel that Sonia Gandhi's words are being effectively implemented on the ground by your own party MP? And your uh, no, own I, party leader. I, as a woman, yes. as a woman lawyer, I feel sad to see this incident.